Hey guys, Chris from Adaptuation here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 5 from the Jan 2023 PUA paper 2. If you want to check out the solutions to the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so it says Volcano Homeowners Credit Union has a share capital of $400,000. The following information is available for the year ended 31 December 2022. Undistributed surplus brought down 1 Jan 2022, 30,000. And the surplus for the year ended 31st December 2022 is 90, right? So the undistributed surplus, this is the non profit version of retained earnings. And the surplus for the year ended, that's their version of net profit, right? Now, additional information. The management committee decided that the surplus for the current year should be distributed as follows. So we have four items. 5% of surplus is to be transferred to the statutory reserve. A donation of 20000 is to be given to members whose homes suffered volcanic damages. An honorarium of 10000 is to be paid to the board of directors. And dividends are to be paid at a rate of 2% of the share capital. Now the first thing they want is to use the info above to calculate the total dividends that will be paid to the members of the credit union. Sure, we can okay, so that's easy enough. You take the dividend rate, 2%, and you multiply it by the value of share capital. So we do a little work in there. Now again, you don't have to set it up like me. I am trained to set it up in statement format. You could simply put it in a little calculation format, right? But this is how I like to present mine. Value of share capital, 400,000. Multiply by the percentage dividend, giving us the value of the dividend paid to the, um, the shareholders or the members, sorry, members rather, of the Volcano Homeowners Credit Union. Okay, let's take a look at A part 2. Okay, so part 2 says, use the information on the previous page to prepare the appropriation account for the year ended 31 December 2022. Use the form provided below, so they give you a nice two-column form, well, two-money column form. Let's go back up to the question itself, the information, and let's start to populate this thing. Okay, so you're going to head up properly, Volcano Homeowners Credit Union Appropriation Account for the year ended 31st December 2022. And you're going to start with the surplus for the year ended Right, December 31st, 2022, which is 90,000. And then you're going to put less appropriations. So just in order of appearance, 5% of the surplus is to be transferred to the statutory reserve. So you find 5% of that, which I think is 4,500, and you're transferring that to the statutory reserve. Next, a donation of 20,000 is to be given to members whose homes suffered volcanic damages. Okay, that's just a straight 20,000. Honorarium of 10,000 is to be paid to board of directors, so that also it has no calculation. And the last thing is the dividends to be paid at a rate of 2%, which we just found as 8,000. You add up all those things, you get 42,5, you subtract from the 90, you get 47,5. Now, this is the undistributed surplus for the current year. We have a previously undistributed surplus brought forward at the start of the year of 30,000. That's going to be added to this current year surplus to give us the total undistributed surplus at the end of this year carried forward. Right? That's the end of A part two. Let's take a look at part B. Okay, so part B reads the treasurer of the credit union revealed the following end of year balances on 31st December 2022. We have a mortgage, a bank balance, cash in hand, accounts payable, share capital, long-term investments in other cooperatives. Ooh, interesting. Statutory reserve, loans to members due in 2013, okay. Members deposits available to members at any time. Net book value of equipment, 1 Jan 2022. Accrued telephone expense, mortgage interest outstanding. Additional information at 31 December 2022. Now equipment depreciation expense for the year was $50,000, okay. Membership fees due with $25,000, all right. Long-term investment purchased for 30000 on the 30th of December was not included in the year in balance. Okay, what do they want us to do? Okay, so coming back up here now to the information, we have to identify the non-current assets, right? So mortgage, no. Bank balance, no. Cash in hand, no. Accounts payable, no. Share capital, no. Long-term investments, yes, 60000 But hold on, in the additional information, the last bullet point said there was a long-term investment purchase for 30000 on the 30th of December that was not included in the year in balance. So this 60000 is missing a 30, and 60 plus 30 is 90000 Right? So we're going to put that in there. Next, 
the statutory reserve, no loans to members, right? So remember, what a credit union can do is they can lend money, a loan. But loans are liabilities. If you borrow money, yes, it's a liability for you. If you are lending money, that's an asset for you because now somebody owes you money. So if it's a loan to a member, this is an asset for the credit union. Whoop. Now it's due in 2013. What's the current year? 31 December 2022. So 2030 is eight years from now. So because this asset will mature or liquidate in more than one year, it is definitely included in the non-current asset section, right? Uh, that's 50,000. The last item is the net book value of equipment, right? 210. Now, that's the start of the year. The first bullet point in the additional information said that the depreciation expense was 50,000. So we have to subtract that 50 from the 210 because this balance was the balance at the start of the year. You use the asset throughout the whole year, so it must have lost value. It must have depreciated. So you have to subtract the loss in value from the value at start. 210 minus 50 is 160. And now we simply add up all three items and we get 300,000. Okay, what was the next thing you wanted us to find? The total for current liabilities. Okay, so let's go back up to the information. So we have mortgage as a, as a non-current liability actually. Bank balance, no, cash in hand, no. Accounts payable, yep, for sure. Uh, <clears throat> share capital, no. Long-term investments, no. Statutory reserve, no. Loans to members, no, that's asset, members deposit. Right, this one, 150, yeah. So members deposit, it's, it's, it's almost like a bank. When you put money in the bank, that's not the bank's money, it's yours. So it represents a liability for the bank. And since it's due back to you at any time, it is always current, right? They have to have the money readily available to repay, right? Uh, net book value, no. Right, accrued telephone expense and mortgage interest outstanding. Those are both accrued expenses. So we put them both there and subtotal is 165,000. Okay, cool. Now I think this is one more part of this question. So part C says, use the form provided below to prepare an extract of the capital and reserve section of the Volcano Homeowners Credit Union Statement of Financial Position as at 31 December 22. And what they want us to show, the capital and reserve section. Okay, so they didn't put extract, but you should put extract when you head it up. And two columns, okay, let's go back up to the information and get this done. All right, so they headed it up for you. So of course, if you had to head it up, please do. Right, so we'll put um, finance by share capital and reserves. So share capital was 400,000 and then we have reserves, right? So the reserves include the statutory reserve. And so you notice I have 40,000 plus 4,500, right? That's because they have a balance here of 40,000. But remember when we did the appropriation account, we would have sent 4,500 to this statutory reserve, right? So I chose to believe that the 4,500 was not yet included because they like to pull tricks like that, okay? And the last thing that you have to put there is the undistributed surplus, like the retained earnings if it was a, a limited liability company. So the undistributed surplus is a reserve, and that's the 775, which is the last figure in the appropriation account. When we add those two together, we get 122. When you add that to the 400, you get the total of share capital and reserves, and that's the end of the question. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question five from the Jan 2023 PUA paper two. If you have any further questions about any of the items in the video, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some free, interesting PUA items. Anyway guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.